stars being tiny, the sun and the moon being tiny, and everything close to us. Hugh, let's start with the first one, and that is, briefly, how many stars are actually in the universe right now? Well, the observable universe contains about 50 billion trillion stars. Well, the observable universe contains about 50 billion trillion stars. About 50 billion trillion stars. About 50 billion trillion stars. And we know that thanks to the Hubble Ultra Deep Field which actually showed us all the stars and galaxies that could possibly exist within a narrow window of space. All right, now folks, the question is, are all these stars necessary or did God just go overboard? Love, love changes everything. Hands and faces, earth and sky. Stars about the size of our sun, or smaller, lose their outer layers gradually. When the last of their nuclear fuel supply is exhausted, all that remains is... Yes, love, love changes everyone. Now I tremble at your name. When a star larger than our sun runs out of fuel, the outer gas shells undergo a sudden collapse. They crash into the core with enough momentum to ignite one final eruption. And the total mass of the universe determines what elements you get in the first four minutes of the existence of the universe. First four minutes of the existence of the universe. First four minutes of the existence of the universe. And that precise ratio of hydrogen and helium determines what kind of elements future stars will build. And it takes three generations, successive generations of star formation in order to produce all the elements we need for life. In its for example, the uranium and thorium that we get from supernova is crucial uh, for building the continents so we can have both oceans and continents on the surface of Earth. Fantasy has ended and all the children are gone. Why so many? Why so many? Well, again, the total mass determines what mix of elements you get in the first four minutes. Mix of elements you get in the first four minutes. First four minutes. First four minutes. The total mass also determines how rapidly the universe will expand over its history. And it's important that the stars be a certain distance apart from one another in the narrow window of time. Something good inside me. Helps me to carry on. In its no, 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 Jose. <laughs>
Doesn't seem possible. Doesn't seem strange. 